good morning. It is Friday, July 15th, and I am here at the Kenesis Dam, or Kenesis Lake Access, uh, and the Halliburton Highland Water Trails. I'm doing a really simple one-nighter this weekend, just heading over to Buckskin Lake, and uh, I'm gonna jump on the water and get on my way. Super beautiful conditions this weekend. It's supposed to be really hot, sunny, no wind. Uh, hopefully the bugs aren't too bad. All right, it is 8.25 and I am on the water. Nobody here this morning, super calm. And uh, looking forward to a beautiful day here in Halliburton. Well, this trip I'm going to be testing out my new canoe seat uh, that I bought. I had talked about it on my last trip. Um, came in the day after I got back. And I got it through Amazon. Um, I'll put uh, some information on my website if you guys are interested. Um, feels kind of weird. It's got padding in the seat. Um, so I'm sitting up about, I don't know, maybe an inch and a half higher than I normally sit up. So I'm feeling a bit like I'm in the captain's chair. Um, the backrest is a lot nicer than the stadium seat I used last trip. Um, it's a lot more comfortable. And uh, it's got two straps that click underneath the seat. <laughs> My mom would get a laugh out of that. Um, and uh, it's a little bit heavier than the other ones. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on the portage, if I'm just gonna keep it on the canoe. I might try to just keep it on the canoe um, or I might just take it off and strap it to my backpack. We'll see. I have stayed on this campsite once before. I believe it was last year in August. And uh, I really liked it. It's a great campsite. Nice quiet little lake. It's like a I think 650 meter portage into the lake. And uh, it's not too crazy, a little bit of uphill. And uh, there's one little spot where I wiped out last time. But other than that, uh, it's fairly decent. So we got up at 5.15 this morning. I could leave at six-ish and uh, get on the water early. I could have the whole day here. It's a two-hour drive, just just under two hours from my house to here, um, with the last half an hour being on Kinesis Lake Road, uh, which is slow going. The rest of the way is a nice drive, all down the 118. I really love paddling this uh, part of the route. The start of this route um, you put in at the dam. And it's usually not too busy, but it's probably because I'm here early in the morning and I do that on purpose because there are motorboats that come through here. I just went around the bend and there was a huge heron sitting in the tree. Uh, it was big. It must have been like maybe 10, 15 feet away from me. It was right there. I don't think I've ever been that close to a heron. And I looked at it and I went to grab my phone slowly, but by the time I got it on and started recording, it was already on the other side of the lake. <laughs> Wildlife encounter number one. I haven't had any bug issues yet, but I have a feeling that's going to change when I get on the portage. Alright, I believe the portage is just around the corner here. Last time I was here it was pouring rain and I was actually sitting here under a tree at the end of the portage waiting to get on the water because it was thundering and uh, it was supposed to be lightning but I waited my time and it ended up being okay so I headed out. But, um, None of that today. All right, um, this is all sucky muck. Let me try to pull the food up sideways here and uh, pull it up as much as possible to avoid walking. All right, it is uh, about 10 after nine. I have the uh, canoe all ready to portage. I just pulled it up a ways. Uh, the backpack is up there on the tree. And uh, got my food bag, 
Got the canoe all set up to portage. And I've got the yoke kind of over top of the seat. This is the seat folded down uh, that I got. I'll show it to you guys later. Um, but uh, seems to fit right under the yoke. And because I have the uh, shoulder blocks here, um, it shouldn't affect me at all. Hopefully, we'll see. It's my first time using it, so. All right, I'm gonna grab the food bag and off I go up this lovely hill. <laughs> and I know it's going to win me, but that's okay. There's no problems with the canoe seat, which is great. It means I don't have to take it on and off whenever I portage. And I don't have any buck shirt, head net, nothing on. And uh, so far so good. So that's a great sign. <laughs> I found the spot where I wiped out. <laughs> That wasn't it earlier, this is it. And I can see why. And it was raining and muddy and really wet. <laughs> uh, hopefully I don't wipe out today. All right, 9.25 and uh, I am at Buckskin. Give me 10 minutes to do the uh, portage. And uh, there's a lot more uphill than I remember. <laughs> After that first spot, there's about three other sections with it. Uh, so far, the bugs aren't too bad, but I'm starting to get really hot and sweaty. And uh, that's uh, getting the mosquitoes to come out and start swarming me. But uh, should be good until I get back to the pack. Beautiful, here we are. Okay, just put the boat down and. Uh, Spot to go. Oh yeah, and the mosquitoes are swarming me now. As soon as I stop, uh, maybe down here. So this is the uh, third uphill section. Uh, there's one at the start, and then there's one more in the middle, uh, which is where that spot is that I wiped out last time I was here. Uh, the bugs are buzzing around me quite a bit, but I got my long sleeve on. It's sprayed with DEET, and. Uh, I'm sprayed with DEET <laughs> and uh, they're just kind of buzzing around except for the one that I inhaled. Uh, they're not bothering me too much as long as I keep moving. So we'll see how it is on the campsite. Look at how red my face is. I'm so hot. I'm looking forward to getting in the water today a lot. Okay, here we go. So here's a quick look at the, the canoe seat that I bought. Uh, it says C, GCI Outdoor. A little pocket on the back of it and that is how it sits so like I said it's got a bit of a cushion here uh, maybe an inch high uh, which sits me even higher up in the canoe which I don't want but such is life and then it has the two straps and then there's two thick straps here that attach it to the seat um, so now that I know that I don't have to take it off all the time I'll probably tighten that a little bit uh, but that's it. All right, it is 10 o'clock. Just uh, one and a half hours since I left the access. And I am on Buckskin Lake. Heading to my campsite. I believe it's 34B. Now oh, the deer flies have found me and they are buzzing around my head. I love how um, tucked away this campsite is. Even though there is another campsite on the lake, it uh, really has no effect unless they're out on the water, like in front of your site. You can't really uh, hear them. I've had other people on the campsite at the other end of the lake while I've been here and haven't noticed a thing, so. It's nice that way. All right, here we am. Set up real quick and uh, start relaxing, enjoying my day. Right, there's the canoe down there. All these great rocks sticking out everywhere where you can sit. And uh, here's the campsite. I haven't done a whole lot. I just brought up my food bag and uh, came to explore. So a big, huge fire pit. Lots of nice flat ground. Uh, that's where I put my tent last time, which I'll 
most likely be where I put it today. And uh, beautiful view. All right, things are moving along quite nicely here at the campsite. It is uh, quarter to 11. Uh, I got, got all of this wood. Um, just made two trips out there. There's all kinds of wood everywhere. Um, so not an issue. I can only have a fire after seven, so I don't need tons and tons. Um, but I have enough uh, to pick at. We've got the hammock set up. Uh, something I didn't have here the last time I was here. And uh, there's a really nice spot out front. So that's good. And then I got the tent set up over there. I have not set up the bug shelter. I'm not sure if I'm going to. Um, the bugs are a little bit of a nuisance, but they're not a huge issue. So um, I think I'm just going to play that by ear. You can see right down in the water there. Some rocks. Oh, it's so beautiful. A couple of clouds are just starting to come in, which were not forecast, but definitely welcome. As long as I'm not filming. You can see a whole bunch of, of fish there on top of that big rock. Oh, there's a couple over here. I wonder if there's fish in this lake. It's really cool that I can see fish in there. It makes me want to go fishing. I do have my fishing rod, but it's going to wait a bit. But, oh, there goes one. I was so happy. I was literally skipping through the trails in the back, like getting wood. It was just so, I'm like, yay, I'm out in nature again. There it is. See it there? I think it's another polywog. I thought at first it was a snakehead and the rest of its body was like down underneath the rock. But uh, I don't think so. It's just so pretty out. Look at how beautiful it is. This is like a perfect summer day. It's hot, but not too hot. It's not super humid, but it's sun hot. And uh, it's just gorgeous. Sun is shining. There's a couple of clouds. Give a little bit of shade. And it's just super, super pretty. What more can you ask for? I heard a loon a couple of times. I'm happy as a clam. Oh, my friend Froggy's back. He's sitting in the sunshine too. Well, this is pretty much what I've been doing for the last hour. Um, I've been climbing around on the rocks and uh, taking pictures, taking videos. The sky is so blue. There's these pretty puffy clouds. They're reflecting in the mirror and uh, it's just perfect for taking pictures and videos. So I've been taking a lot of pictures of the boat and I uh, got myself in a few of them too. And it's beautiful out. Uh, I'm thinking about having lunch soon. I'm starting to get really hungry. It's about 12.30 and um, I'm gonna probably sit around for a bit and maybe go for a swim and then maybe do some fishing later this afternoon. Well, it's 12.30. Me and my friend Chippy are hanging out. There's quite a few of them here, actually. Not like uh, on the island I was at on the one campsite uh, on Canada Day where there was just one chipmunk. There probably was more than one, too, but it seemed like there was only one. Here it seems like there's lots, and they're just trudging through the forest, making me think there's a deer and a bear and all kinds of other things that it's just chippy. I'm going to have some lunch. I've got my, as I said, my hamburger bun. It's a Italiano one, so at least it's a good one. And it is full of salami. Ow! See, they're getting my ankles. I might, I'm probably going to put the bug shelter up next. Um, anyways, got some uh, salami and some prosciutto on it and some butter and some laughing cow cheese. So hopefully it's as good as the one I had at the Portage Road Bakery last week. And I know it won't be, but I think it's going to rival it. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> Mm, it's good. <laughs> I think I might move out to the rock and eat. Uh, it's a little bit windier there and the bugs are um, not bothersome there at all in here in the sheltered area of the campsite. Um, they're quite the pain in the butt, so I'm going to move. Be back in a bit. I'll take another bite first. Mm. Yum. 
pretty good spot. <laughs> a lot less bugs out here, that's for sure. These dragonflies that are flying around here are really interesting. Um, they're brown and they're kind of fluffy looking. They just look different than the ones I'm used to seeing. Usually they're blue. They're very friendly though. And I think they're mating because they're like all over each other. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, it's 1.30 and it is the perfect day to take this out there and chill out. Now, just a note, I am not sponsored by Thermarest. I'm not an ambassador for them. I love their products, but they do not believe that you should take this and put it in there. I'm going to do it anyways because I enjoy it and whatever happens, happens. I'm responsible for myself but uh, you can do whatever you want to do. Anyways, last year I tried this out on Upper Crane Lake, uh, floating around on my Thermarest, and it was awesome. So today, I'm doing it again. <laughs> oh, hello, Froggy. Froggy's here, right there on the rock. I'm just gonna put the Thermarest in. I scared him away. Um, I'm gonna have to come get it too far because I think this is safe or slippery. Woo! It's not very, it's not as cold as it was in Kamagami. The water, a little bit of air out of this just so it doesn't pop or anything. I put my foot down and it just kept going. I guess that's it. I'm just gonna jump on here. <laughs> I forgot I can't lay on my seat. Okay. Easy. Woo! <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a little teetery. Once you get situated. It's not bad for my first try. Last time I fell off, I think. Just a little, ooh, not too far, you'll fall off. Oh, there we go. Ta-da! <laughs> Fantastic. See you in a couple hours. Bye. Okay, deer flies are bothering me. Oh, get out of here, buddy. Get out. They're just like all over you, everywhere. Thought they'd be almost done by now, but nope. Bug season is in full swing here in Halliburton. Mosquitoes and deer flies. I haven't got any black fly bites yet, but I'll probably know better tomorrow. Oh, I forgot there's like a wicked echo on this lake. Watch this. Woo! I'm not gonna do it too many times. There's lakes around here. I don't want to disturb people. But you know what it's time for now. Float. Oh. oh. cannot see in the phone at all. 
I um, really, really hate, something I really, really hate about the new iPhone uh, 13 Pro that I have is everything is on the screen. And um, I'm listening to an audiobook through YouTube, and I'll pick up the phone and put it down or put it in my pocket, and somehow the screen gets touched, and then all of a sudden it goes to another book. And then when I go back to the book I was listening to, it's back where I started listening to it, like at the start of the day or something. I can't see anything on my phone at all. I'm like trying to hide and go in the shade. Um, the deer flies were driving me insane. I was in the water. I want. I just wanted to float around on the thermarest. I was so happy I got out there. The water was perfect. Um, I was out there for quite a while, but um, not as long as I, I would still love to be out there. It was so nice and refreshing. But then the deer fly came and they would not leave me alone. Like just relentless, relentless attacking me. I'd go under the water. I was putting water, like throwing water up over my head. Nothing would work. Finally, I grabbed the thermarest. I got in the water. Right in front of the campsite, there's a rock. And it's my perfect height. If I stand on it, the water just comes right to here. So I put the thermarest over my head, kind of like an umbrella. And they, they weren't smart enough to figure out how to get in there. Every once in a while, they fly through. But so I walked around like that and just stood there in the water for, I don't know, like 15 minutes with the thermarest over my head. No, I don't have any pictures. Yes, it would have been funny, but I'm pretty sure you can picture it. Anyway, so after that, I decided to get out, and the only place that I can sit is right here on this rock. Um, I finally found a spot where my chair will sit because it's very, very uneven, and I needed to be comfortable, and um, this was the only spot I could sit. There's a little bit of a breeze. I don't know if you can hear it. It's just a little breeze. It's like kind of messing up my mirror a little bit, but that's okay. I got lots of pictures already. And the little bit of the breeze is just enough to blow them away. But the second I go into camp, I get attacked. So I'm not going into camp. Having a great time here. I'm just listening to my audiobook and uh, looking around, waiting to see a deer pop its head out of the bushes or something. Every once in a while, I hear my frog jumping around, and that's really about it. So beautiful, beautiful day here in Halliburton. I was sitting here on my little perch and I've spotted a snake. I cannot see anything of what I'm filming, but hopefully I've got it there. Um, it's sitting right on top of the water right now. It was making its way over here. And then it stopped. Yes, I'm walking towards the snake. So I wanna see it swimming. Here it comes. I don't know what kind of snake it is. I'm assuming it's a water snake. That's just because it came out of the water. Where did it go? It's probably like gonna jump. Oh, it's right there on the rocks. See it there? <laughs> I don't know how to get rid of a snake. It's probably not scared of me. He's coming up. So I'm going. I'm pretty sure that snake just squeaked at me. Do snakes make, do snakes make noise? Sneaky, sneaky, where are you going? And then he squeaked. No, nope. he was climbing up the rock here, and I just went to look where he went because he hadn't come up yet. Oh, he's there. It's just a little guy, a little tiny thing. I'm gonna let it be. I can see him. Oh, there he comes. He's a weird-looking thing. He's definitely. Looks like he wants to come this way. He's very jiggly. Hi. Well, it's 10 to five and um, I've got the bug shelter up now. I'm just gonna go sit in there. Uh, I just took a Tylenol a turmeric, a curcumin, and a Tylenol sinus. So my headache is starting to feel a little bit better, um, but I still feel pretty nauseous. It's a, a sinus headache, I believe, um, probably from the pollen and stuff in the air. I don't know. 
But um, yeah, just gonna move all my my crap in there and hang out and not get uh, bothered by the deer flies for a while. Should be lovely. Well, I was gonna do all my cooking on the fire today and um, then I found out last night that there's a fire ban in the area. There's no daytime burning, so you can't have a fire until 7 p.m. It's 5.30 now, I'm hungry. This is probably gonna take me half an hour, even 45 minutes. I've chopped the potatoes really small so they'll cook faster. I've got some olive oil on them and some uh, Lipton onion soup mix, some garlic and some salt. And then I've got the salmon with some Dijon mustard and some brown sugar and a little bit of garlic powder. So I'm gonna cover it all up and I'm gonna put it on the backcountry stove here and uh, just let it cook for a while and see what happens. And uh, hopefully we'll get her done. So what I did when I started was I poured a bit of water into the pan. Um, that way the potatoes could kind of boil and steam and they wouldn't get stuck too badly to the bottom and it's been working fairly well. It's been about a half an hour uh, since I put everything on. Uh, the salmon looks like it's coming along nicely. Um, I will take it out of the foil uh, near the end but for now I think um, it's it's kind of making it like its own little oven on the in the pan and then uh, I'm also covering it up with foil like that while it's sitting. Well, it looks kind of bland, but it's coming along nicely and it smells really good. All right, it's time to eat. Mm. Salmon's good. I think it's cooked just perfectly. It's all, um, flaking apart nicely. Try one of the potatoes. Hopefully it's cooked. Mm. Yep. <laughs> they taste like Lipton onion soup mix with some mustard mixed in and some, <laughs> some brown sugar. No, they're really good actually. They have some kind of a, a coating on them from dumping the water in. Hmm. I'm going to sit here and eat, and um, I'll see you in a bit. That was really delicious. Um, I just brought some Ferrero Rocher, I um, can't remember what they're called, Ferrero Round Noir, I think they are. Um, they're really, really yummy. I, I don't know why, but I stupidly only brought two, and I ate one after lunch. So I just have one, um, but I'm quite full. And I also have a Palm Bay, which I actually decided to open because my head's feeling a little better and I'm not feeling uh, as nauseous. So um, yeah, cheers for dessert. Cheers for my drink. And uh, the sun looks like it's kind of coming out a little bit. It's been gone for a while behind the clouds. So um, I wasn't sure if I was going to get a sunset. So I guess I'll wait and see. It's still going to be a bit before that happens, and uh, it's going to happen over there. I don't even know if I'm going to get sunrise. I know I'm not going to get sunrise, but I don't even know if I'm going to get sunset either. Like, it's it's pretty much right over there. I could probably go out on the rocks and see it, but it won't be like a, a gorgeous one like I had on Seagram Lake or anything, but that's okay. I've had different stuff uh, today here, so, you know, campsites 
are good for all different reasons and uh, this one served the needs that I had for today so it's all good anyways this is melting in my hand so see ya mmm that was good well it's just a little after seven I uh, had the decision of starting a fire or going out to cast a few so I'm in the canoe I'm just in front of the site. I'm not going to go too far. I'm just going to see if I can uh, find some deeper water. It's pretty shallow here. Um, and uh, just cast a few, see what happens. So now that I'm fishing for, um, just for fun, <laughs> I'll probably catch something. Sun going down there over my shoulder. All right, it is quarter to eight, and uh, I just got back from being out on the water. Um, I cast all over a whole bunch of different spots in the lake and I didn't even have one nibble, bite, nothing. So I called it quits, put the fishing rod away, put all my stuff away, I flipped over the canoe, it's down there. And uh, super easily got a fire going. Um, I can see why the fire ban is on because everything is really dry. So far so good, there's a bit of a breeze. Um, when I first sat down, I had a couple mosquitoes on me. I just put on my socks and my shoes, got my long pants on, and uh, I am wearing my bug shirt. So um, this is also sprayed with uh, bug spray. Um, when it when it gets bad and the bugs start coming around my ears, I just open it up and put it all over my whole uh, head to be extra safe. After I rinsed out the pan, I put some water in it. And now I've just got it on the fire grate there. The fire under it just kind of burning off any uh, smells or anything like that that was left in it. So it should be good for tonight. Just got a little visitor on my lake. Loon just landed. Now he's going to eat one of those pollywogs. Well, it's about 9.45 and uh, I'm calling it a night. Um, I don't know if you can hear, I'm super stuffed up. Um, I drank one and a half of the Palm Bays and then I just poured the rest out in the fire. Um, but that was pretty good for me. Uh, I'm also pretty stuffed up. I don't have my crazy headache or my face ache um, or uh, feel nauseous anymore, which is great. Um, but I'm just super, super tired. So it's been a long day. I mean, I got up at 5.15 or whatever to come this morning. So, um, and I know I'm probably going to get up in the morning and want to take off early because I love being out on the water when uh, the sun comes up, especially because I won't be able to see it from here. So we'll see what happens. I left out my cooking stuff in case I want to make breakfast. Uh, I might make an egg wrap. I might make some oatmeal or I might just head out. Um, I'll see how I feel when I get up, what the weather's like, and all that stuff. Um, but for now, I'm going to go to sleep very soon. I'm just going to go through and look at a couple of pictures and videos, and then I'll probably start doing this thing, and then that'll be it. So, good night. It's 2.30 in the morning, and it's quite noisy here on Buckskin Lake. There are two woodpeckers uh, creating their condos. Um, there are frogs. And now I just heard a, I believe it's a fox call. It's a horrible sound. Well, good morning from Buckskin Lake. A little loon visitor here on the lake in front of me. Good morning, loony. Uh, as you can see, I don't know if you can see the moon there, but the sun 
is up over there. And I went to that little beach I was on yesterday, but I'm just like three or four feet away from being able to see the sun come up. So I'm going to jump in the boat real quick and uh, go see if I can get some sunrise pictures quick. And uh, then I'll decide what to do from there. Morning, Looney. Good morning, sunshine. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous out. It's so peaceful and calm. Um, sun's just up over the trees back here behind me somewhere. And um, I'm going to go back to camp and make some breakfast. I think I'm going to make that wrap. Um, I'm really hungry this morning. I don't normally eat till noon. But um, I do have that portage and some paddling to do, and uh, it's always nice to have a little extra energy. And it's the weekend, and I had dinner pretty early last night, and I didn't have any snacks or anything after that. So um, that's probably why I'm so hungry. This morning, I'm just going to make a quick wrap. It's about 6.30. Uh, I have the wrap here, put some ketchup on it. I just brought one packet of ketchup. It's just from, like, Wendy's or somewhere. And I have some two-year-old cheddar on there. Uh, I have some kielbasa, turkey kielbasa in the pan. It's very lean and uh, smells fine. It was in the cooler bag yesterday until I went to bed, so um, it's pretty good. And I'm just gonna fry up this kielbasa quick. And then I have uh, two eggs in here. Again, I talked about this last trip. Um, People say you're not supposed to crack the eggs, you're gonna get sick, blah, blah, blah. I've been doing this since I started backcountry camping. I've never gotten sick, so I'm gonna keep doing it, but it's up to you if you think it's safe or not, or if the eggs are okay, or how many days they last, etc. Uh, the eggs were in the cooler bag as well up until last night, so they're pretty good. I'm just gonna throw those in the pan, scramble them all up, and then throw them into the wrap. Easy peasy mac and cheesy. That's pretty much it. Mmm, that's good. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this and then I'm gonna start packing up and uh, get ready to head out. It is 7.30 in the morning and I am all packed up and ready to go. Um, super calm out, absolutely gorgeous. Got my tank top on already and my bug shirt. Um, it was really warm last night. I didn't even sleep in my sleeping bag most of the night, so that was pretty nice. Um, lots of noises throughout the night. Um, there were so many animals out in the forest. There were two woodpeckers pecking away. The frogs were going, there was a loon here and there, and then uh, I think that was a fox that I heard there that made that horrible sound. Um, so I just put uh, a couple of Nalgene's onto the fire pit. Um, it is out, but just always good to uh, make sure, especially with the fire ban on, uh, no day burning. And uh, I know people are coming to this campsite soon um, at some point today, so I'm not super concerned about it. but. You never know what if those plans get cancelled or they don't come. I um, just got to make sure that everything's taken care of. I left a ton of firewood and um, I'm all packed up and ready to go. So I'm going to make my way across the lake and uh, onto the portage. All right, it is 7.37. I am on the water. It's a beautiful day forecast here in Halliburton. But sadly, I am making my way out and heading home. I need to work on uh, the rest of the video series from the Canada Day weekend. I uh, started with over ten and a half hours of footage from the five-day trip, and uh, lots of work to do. So, thank you for the beautiful campsite. It was wonderful. And uh, goodbye, Mr. Frog. 
some of my little friends that I met. All right, it is 8.08. .08. I am soaking wet with sweat and uh, the canoe is now at the Red Pine Lake side of the portage and I'm walking back to get the pack. It's hilarious. I just checked the weather network and it says it's 11 degrees out. Um, there's no way it's 11 degrees out. I'm, I'm sweating like a crazy person. Like it feels like it's at least 25 degrees uh, with the Humidex. So not sure what's up with that. Maybe it just hasn't refreshed. Ah, I'm back at the other end. Buckskin, got my pack right there. And uh, on my way back. I've gotten back to the canoe here and uh, I'm just going to slide it down into the water and throw my pack in and I'll be on my way to the access. I think it took me about a half an hour yesterday uh, to paddle from there to here. All right, it is 8.40. I have just uh, Released myself of the giant cloud of mosquitoes that have been following me through the portage. I've got a couple bites on my hand, which are very, very itchy. <laughs> right now, I am on this beautiful lake. The sun is shining. The water is calm. And it is absolutely gorgeous out here. All right, I'm just about at the access. I figured there'd probably be some people there because it is Saturday morning. Uh, a lot of people are probably coming out, putting their boats in the water, going fishing um, for the day, stuff like that. And then the people that are coming to camp as well. So um, really, really great trip. Uh, really um, short trip, only 24 hours, just over, barely over 24 hours that I've been out. But uh, I packed a whole bunch of stuff into that time and I'm really glad that I came out. Um, because I live up north, uh, it's great because I can just, you know, jump in the car and drive an hour or two hours and uh, come to a place like this and uh, spend the night on the lake and the day on the lake all by myself. So I had all day yesterday to enjoy. I got to go swimming, uh, eat some good food, relaxed a bit, sat in the sunshine. I got to watch some wildlife and uh, make some good food. So it was a great time out. Uh, unfortunately, I can't stay another day because one, the campsite isn't available and two, I have uh, videos that I have to get home and make. Um, it's a delicate balance, you know, between tripping uh, going out all the time and then making all these videos. Um, it all takes time. So um, I decided just to come out for the one day and the one night and uh, spend the rest of the weekend working on the Canada Day videos and uh, planning my next trips coming up. So lots of adventures on the way. I hope you guys stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. Also click the bell for notifications. If you'd like to get more information on the stuff I use on my trips, please check out my website at camperchristina.com. Thanks. Bye.